Lex appeared early in Superman's career. Back then he had hair, he had red hair. So like the movie, he first started with hair. And he was a mad scientist at first. For a long, long time he was just a mad scientist and wanted to destroy Superman. And ultimately it was John Byrne in the 1980s who reinvented Lex Luthor as a businessman. And he had a company, LexCorp. And he became a different kind of modern day adversary for Superman. Superhero comics generally are about superheroes going out to fight supervillains. And in every corner of the DC universe, we are seeing reimaginings of the characters themselves. The modernization of Lex is a good compliment for my Superman, because that's essentially what we tried to do with Man of Steel, was bring Superman to the present day in the modern world. And Lex is a facet of that. I think Lex, in a way, set up his company with, you know, I guess I would call it like some kind of faux magnanimity, where it seems like the employees are all equal colleagues, you know, that kind of he's eschewed any kind of status or hierarchy. As you meet him, you start to realize, oh, it's, it's a f total facade. You know, he conducts his own business from a very kind of isolated and dark place. Speech, speech, uh, blah, 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 uh, open bar. <laughs> the end. The speech was written by Chris Terrio, and it's so incredible. It exactly parallels what I think my character is doing for humanity, saving humanity against Superman. And for that, I'm punished. Uh, the word philanthropist uh, comes from the Greek, meaning a lover of humanity. Uh, it was coined about 2,500 years ago uh, in a little play about a titan named Prometheus who had to choose sides between gods and men, and uh, he chose us. Um, and uh, he ruined Zeus's plan to destroy mankind, and for that he was given a thunderbolt. True! That seems unfair. The speech uh, is so clever because it starts out about philanthropy, and then it actually turns into this very rich, textured, layered speech about this thing that my character is dealing with. The bittersweet pain among men is having knowledge with no power, because, because that is paradoxical. There was a take on Lex Luthor from a book called Superman Birthright, where he was too smart. He understood too much. He was crazy because his mind could never turn off. This is the smartest man in the room. This might be the smartest man on the planet. Oh no, no, I don't know how to lose. You'll learn. He's dealing with a lot of what we would consider kind of modern psychological problems. And we'd probably diagnose him today as some kind of narcissistic sociopath or something where he doesn't have, you know, what we would consider maybe like kind of empathy. He sees people as kind of, you know, paper dolls, pawns. As an actor, it's really fun because you end up being able to do all the things that you're not allowed to do in public without getting arrested. And you're able to kind of charm people in a way that is kind of gross, but it's fun to, you know, I guess act out in a safe environment. Obeys only me and born to destroy you. Your doomsday. So Lex creates doomsday, tells Superman he's born to be your destroyer. Lex has a kind of like Freudian psychology and he creates kind of a son. He thinks of doomsday like a son. He takes Zod's body and uses it to create doomsday. And he has this almost paternal feeling for Doomsday, but Lex determines that that is the best way to kill Superman. Lex in the film is very maniacal. He's just kind of starting out. He's on his way to becoming the iconic Lex Luthor in the comic books. But it's a very different version. There's a mythology around Superman, which is why there are kind of all these religious uh, aspects to Superman. There are all these, you know, kind of frankly godlike parallels. Lex is the Satan, you know, he's the kind of all evil, you know, in the same way, I guess Satan is sometimes depicted as charming. So Lex in that way is like the kind of mythological evil. It's pretty exciting. How do you feel? Great. Are you great. nervous? No, I feel great. Yeah, yeah. Is it, yeah. Is it cathartic? Yeah, I think so. The way we're doing it is he's going to shave the front of your head, so it's going to be, he'll start at the front and go And we have two cameras, and then we go just reset to the cameras behind, and then he'll shave the back. And then what we do is I go to a, an overhead, and then he puts the shaving cream on your head, and then he starts the straight razor, mm -hmm. and then we finish in a sort of a close-up, and then we pull back and sort of, and you can do your sort of Stanley Kubrick-like head down. Lex views himself as the kind of savior of mankind. So he views Superman as just existentially wrong, like this guy should not exist, and that creates a very dangerous person. 